Hello transport people and welcome back, welcome back. This is about what we can afford now, we have spent 200 million on terraforming. But it's starting to shape out how I want it to. A bit more natural with, uh, with some islands and some rivers breaking off from the fjord and then rejoining. And uh, this is gonna be wider, but yeah, just wanted to get up to this uh, this peninsula before I run out of money, so that's why I've left it like that. Stanley will not be able to cross with the bridge, it's gonna be too wide, so yeah, we're gonna use we're gonna have to use boats. Uh, yeah, ascending uh, will not be on this much land, it will be on islands. This hub will be on, on an uh, island. I think that would be really cool and connected with bridges and then we have to use boats and yeah, and all of that. Cool. And uh, this town here, Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury, yeah. That's gonna be a mountain town, so it's not gonna be kind of in a valley like it is now. This is gonna be a, come a huge mountain and this will be a town on the mountain side. That's the idea for that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just sharing some of my thoughts for, for the series, the future. Uh, yeah, we need money to be able to continue the terraforming, but... Oh well, that's how it is. Uh, yeah, so last time we built some houses here. Cozy neighborhood, I think. I would love, I would like to live here. I would not have a problem with living here. Uh, here, on the other hand, a bit too small. But when you're a poor f factory worker in 1906, you have to take what you get. And this is not bad. This is not bad. So, for this episode, we are going to do some, uh, some uh, more work on this. Uh, I want sending to become, or to the layout of the town to be kind of how I want it to end up quite soon, because then we know what we have to work with and we can place our headquarters and the hub will be developed how it's supposed to be and not some like it is now, which is just rushed together and uh, yeah, there's no room to expand. That is a problem, because we are going to expand, no question about that. Yeah, Biswas is not behaving uh, how I'd like it to. This, <laughs> this is not what I intended with uh, the locking of the streets, not this neither, so... Uh, let's just fix that. And I think the problem is that I didn't lock it, lock the roads far enough out. No, this one was not locked and that caused this. So, sorry Biswas, people of Biswas, this is not allowed. Hmm, yeah, let's see, streets. And country roads, please. No, that's the right one. And we want curvy roads. And this time we are going to lock it all the way out here. That way it has, yeah, it will be too long, too far away from the city to have any growth. there yeah and uh, it's uh, yeah because then this will be closer so yeah that solves that problem this is not allowed either bye bye all right uh, let's see we can have some ex yeah we can have the town expand out there let's do that and lock lock those Uh, this will be country road 
Hmm. There we go. Yeah, is that correct? Yes. I think it is. And it's locked. Good. Let's lock it all the way up to the intersection here. So, now it has nowhere to go but over the river. Good. Alright, Heartland. This is the heart of the episode. <laughs> we want to move the city down. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I want to build this manually, kind of make a custom part of the town down here, or if I want to move the main town down here so that the AI will deal with the building of the buildings. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think I want it on this anything on this side, so because here I will build uh, uh, the harbor and the uh, shipping container yard and the uh, park and the parking lot and yeah things like that. So this needs to be clear from of buildings. Uh, so if we move the town down, I fear that we don't we will lose control of the expansion and we'll build all over this place. So I think we want to just add some uh, buildings manually down here. So uh, let's do that. then so yeah we can see it here but we got residents in the middle of the of these blocks and we have some commercial some shops and cafes on the um, the uh, vertical lines here or vertical roads depending on how you look at it this uh, harbor station thing seems to be a bit more kind of included in the town now so that's what I wanted so that is good let's just set up some fencing here to stop the kids from hurting themselves on the tracks there we go good cool Yeah, that's a cool, cool view. I would like to live here, even though it will be kind of noisy, noisy. That's okay by me. So we have 36 million now. Let's do some more terraforming just to kind of get some progress on that. Yeah, good. Well, I like that it kind of swings in here, but I want it to be kind of wider. Yeah, a lot wider actually. Yeah, let's have it do this and we're out of money again. And this just looks cool, cool with these rocks sticking out of the water. Good, we have four million, so let's do something else. Um, let's check how this was. Has it broken any rules yet? Nope. Seems to be behaving as I wanted to. Cool. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, so a couple of things. Um, this this uh, iron iron ore mine is uh, kind of full. We should do something about that, I would think. And uh, Hayward's Heath here wants machines. So, yeah, let's bring it to them. 
Um, Biswas is already receiving machines here, so... But the problem is that he doesn't get much. He gets 4 of, out of 99. That is not a lot. But we aren't producing much either, so... The problem is that the steel... Yeah, the, the iron ore, so... Everything goes back to this. Being too full. Uh, let's see, how many vehicles do we have here? We have 20 vehicles, but they are kind of spread out. They could be closer together. So let's just double that. Now we will have 40 vehicles coming from there. So yeah, let's see how that pans out. Well, I can't really say that it helped It helped on the you know, amount waiting here, but <laughs> at least we're shipping more, so yeah, that's good. We got a lot waiting here now, so yeah, we might want to bump this one up, add some vehicles here, let's see. We have 15, yeah, 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 let's add more. Let's double it, why not? We're making money, so... Whoa, we are at 200 million again. So now we have the same amount of money as I did before I started the episode. And started doing all of this, so... Yeah. <laughs> money is not an issue at this point. Let's just do some more of this while the lines gets settled in. Here comes the fleet. Yeah, look at this. Good. Go, 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 go. We got, we got to make machines. We got to push the technology and bring it to the people. We got people waiting here for the train, which is there. That's good. Is it making money? Well, well. Just about. Uh, how is this doing? Well, it started to build houses on the country roads. Mm, that's not what I want. Come on. Why? It's not doing it here, so I don't understand. Yeah. Oh, we got country road here. <laughs> nope. You shouldn't be able to build here. But it is, so yeah, it's, it kind of looks cool, I think, so I'll just keep it, or I don't know what to do with it either way, so... I have these uh, roads that is not supposed to have buildings on them, but in my opinion, or in my experience, they get, get buildings anyway, so... Not much to do about it. Oh, we got these two. A new bus, I think, and a Norwegian passenger car wagon. We will use that. Sometime in the future. The banana train is making money. Yes, it is. So, we don't have much iron left here. A lot of it is on this way up here. We're making a lot of steel. Here comes the train, picks it up. But it has a room for a lot more. Yeah, 
some of it is lumber. We will upgrade this train as soon as it gets full, uh, fully loaded, but for the time being it's doing okay. Uh, so yeah, the whole production line is uh, ramping up because we got more iron ore coming in. That is good. And that means we got more machines shipped out here as soon as the loop completes or the chain completes. So yeah, I think we should start bringing machines here. Um, and we could bring some iron ore back maybe. Or are you fully loaded? No, you got room. Not much, but you got room. We could bring some iron ore with this train and yeah, then we'll just follow the, ch the chain and, and the trains would pick it up here and yeah, they definitely room, got room, so... So this countryside, I wanna do some more work on it. We need more people living here because yeah, in real life people aren't just living in the middle of the city, they are spread out, living on the countryside. This here is a beautiful water line, so I, yeah, for sure that we have some residents here. And now the first thing I want to do is, let's see. So we, I want some houses here. Let's see, no, <laughs> not there. Uh, residents, residential. Let's find a beautiful house first. Yeah, something like that. And yeah, they are living here. No, follow the train, please. Do that, yeah. Uh, some more houses here? Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is kind of steep, but... Um, for, for housing, I think that's appropriate. At least where I live, we have a lot of houses in the hills that have steep kind of driveways like this. And it's really no problem unless you want to get a truck up there, which is rare. So let's have the house. Come on. All right, if we do that, will that work? Yeah. Cool, it's cool. Starting to look alive. Let's have some more housing up here. That's this this can be a neighborhood. If we just build the road first. Something like this maybe? Yeah. Alright, so Smaller house there, yeah. Let's have this one there. And let's have you there. Sure. Maybe we can fit this really small one on this hill. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. So instead, let us have this one on this hill. Yeah. And we want some. There, that's good. And one more. Sure. Let's do that. And then we'll add the road. Or maybe we'll add the road first. Let's see. Yeah, let's do have the road go like so. Or like so. And then flat. And we'll have this house there. Well, now that I think about it, maybe they should be the same because it's the same kind of contractors that have built these three houses in one project. So they would look the same. And they get different, uh, different tables and yeah, this thing. 
swings, so... Sure. Sure, sure. Uh, I want to place the trees and veg vegetation manually, so... Let's just remove what's there from before. Starting to look good. So I think they're a bit too spread out, so we will we will add some more houses here. So I want these small trees to be the trees we use here, because we want to keep the view for the houses in the back. So let's do this. Have some here as well. Well, like this one, it doesn't have a hedge around the whole garden, so we can expand the garden. Uh, let's do that by leveling this. Let's level it all the way over to these houses. Like so, like so. Good. And do that, please. Yeah. Alright, we need to cut the grass here. We're looking a bit rough. So let's use this one. Alright, good. Uh, let's do it here. Yeah, let's do this. We'll extend the tree tree line down to here. Which which ones are used here? Th these ones? Yeah. like these, uh, this um, cutted grass uh, texture, but it's still looking a bit rough. Like, it doesn't look like it's maintained well. Yeah, and then we'll add some gardeny things for them to use. Like so, maybe? So they can barbecue and eat their dinner. When they're sick of this table, they can use this one. Yeah. Let's have this parasol. Nice parasol for them. Good. Yeah, maybe they want... Let's give them a pond as well. With some dirty water. We'll have a pond here. Cool, cool. And um, let's have these. There. And every pond needs a stone. So, whoa, that's big. That's big. There. Good, let's do some fencing.
right, there you have it, guys. We have a new neighborhood. Cool. Yeah. Makes it look more realistic, in my opinion. So, that is a good thing. Uh, I want to have more fields. So, we will expand the fields. Uh, yeah. Should be more farms here as well. Condition of multiple vehicles is very poor. So let's uh, bump up the uh, thingy. We can afford it. So, and we also can afford. Whoop! More terraforming. So let's see. And now we are starting to get close to the infrastructure here. The town, so hmm. yeah, let's uh, let's do some terraforming. some big changes uh, being made here um, I don't know about you but I think this looks much more much much more natural the uh, water is kind of yeah it's dug itself into an in and made base and yeah some islands and yeah I want that so I built that this is kind of I wanted to kind of make a, I wanted to make a pretend uh, oil platform here so that's why I did this so yeah it works but um yeah I did the I just connected it here for the time being because I'm gonna redo the whole hub in the future and then I'm gonna build on a real uh, kind of dock here so I'll just deliver the oil here for now and use the train that we did before that's why the train also just cuts flies over the water here. Yeah, I don't like that uh, because it's not very economical to build a bridge like that and yeah It works for now. We'll fix that in the future when we finish this project It's gonna be a long time until this whole thing is completed uh, because we need money when we need assets and things that aren't available yet 
Uh, I want the airport before I redo the hub, so at least a small airport. I hope we get that soon. I don't I I don't know the the date for the different things in my head, so we'll just have to see. But yeah, big change. And much of this is gonna be dug out as well. This is gonna be a fjord as well. I think this is gonna be much wider out here. Maybe up to up until Biswas before it goes over to our to a river. This here this river is gonna be completely gone and just replaced with a fjord, so yeah. Alright, progress being made and our houses here looking good. These houses spawn cars. So they look alive and we have some chimney smoke, smoke from the chimneys. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So I think we'll just uh, wrap it up there for today, guys. Uh, we have made some progress here and there. And not much with the lines this time. Just, well, we did, did some, redo some of the lines here. Uh, sending west and needs to rebuild itself. Uh, yeah, didn't we have passenger bus buses here? Let's see. We have buses here. And they have the wrong name even. Yeah, the, this line is really old, isn't it? Yeah, let's do that before we wrap up and then call it a day. So we want to rename both, of course. This town is not named Staining anymore. Uh, it goes there, there and there. We can do better than that. There's a lot of people waiting here, so there's the, there's a demand for it. No question about that, but yeah, let's add stops. Let's see, let's just have one. Have the line go here. Stop there. Stop there. Um, yeah, so there, there. And I do want the line to swing by and pick up these people, so we'll have stops there. We'll go across and we'll stop right here. And here maybe. Or do we want that? No. Stop there. Well, yeah, let's stop here when, as we climb the bridge and then we are over here. So I think this main road in the middle will be enough to serve the whole city. So let's have the bus cross the bridge, go over here, pick up people there, pick up people in the middle, middle and pick up people over there. Turn around and go over this bridge and... <laughs> Let's have it stop here. I think I want to remove this stop again because you have, you have to stop here as well. So let's just have the buses stop. Well, remove that. Yeah, we'll have them stop here instead. Boom and boom. Remove that stop. We'll do that when we I fixed the line. Stops there, goes across. What's the coverage for this? Yes, it stops there. This turned out to be harder than I thought it would be. Let's do that. All right, let's do redo the lines. So, remove all and remove all here as well. There. There and there and there. Cross the bridge. Go over there. Pick up people th in the middle of the town. Go back here. There. And there. And back to the station. Alright. And counterclockwise. There. There. No. We don't want that. But we want this and that, there and there. 
and back to the station. Good. Yeah, so we will delete this stop and that stop and that stop. Yeah, and go. So, let's pause it there because we're gonna start the next episode by time lapsing, sending west, growing into a beautiful part of the city. All right, so we'll wrap it up here. Um, let's continue this next uh, episode and we are gonna build the mountainside uh, town that I was talking about earlier. Uh, next episodes will also start on the sh uh, rail yard, I think, if I don't change my mind. <laughs> Uh, so that will be great. Uh, that way we will kind of have a central hub or yeah place to buy our trains from. That will be connected to the whole network. That is the idea. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!